Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? First of all, I would like to thank you all for all the support you have given me so far. We have just crossed 500 subscribers, which is so great. I'm very happy and thankful. So please keep on supporting. And today I have got you this look. That this look is appropriate for wedding seasons. You can just rock this look with different lip shades. Uh, for any of your friends or relatives wedding so yeah if you want to know how i created this look then please keep on watching i personally love red lipstick so i just went with red lips you can use whatever you want so as always i'm going to apply primer on a well moisturized face i have already moisturized applied high and dry cream and i'm going to apply this color bar primer and this is extremely good for oily skin and the next one is the orange character part now this one is a must-have product please do have this in your vanity even if you are a beginner it will definitely save you in any of your bad days just taking off all the excess with a damp beauty sponge then i'm going to use the maybelline fit me foundation now i know this shade is a bit lighter for me but it just settles down after a while so i'm comfortable using this so this shade is 330 toffee caramel yeah toffee caramel so yeah i'm just taking off the excess again with the damp beauty sponge then i'm going to fill in my eyebrows these are the two new steps that i'm just doing before i fill in my eyebrow like brushing the hairs from top to bottom in the downward direction first with a clean wand or a spoolie then i'm filling it and again um, for the lower part brushing it upwards and then filling the lower part and uh, again finally i'm going to um, just brush the hairs and uh, make it get more natural looking then i'm going to add on some uh, eyeshadow base and i'm also using a concealer brush and i'm correcting the lower part of my eyebrow it just highlights and also corrects all the mistakes that we have made in our eyebrows. So I'm setting this all with some loose powder. Then here comes the best part. I have got this Morphe 25A Copper Spice palette and I'm so in love with this. So these are the shimmer shades. The rest are all the matte shades. You do have some satin finished shades. Yeah, today I'll be using that shade. I'll show you. So I'm taking a light sandalwood kind of color and working this on a crease with a blending brush. Then I'm going to take a bit darker shade with the same blending brush and I'm going to slightly apply this, no, intensely apply this slightly below the previous transition shade. So and I'm going to blend this well. Then I'm just taking a clean blending brush and again blending, blending, blending. Then I'm taking this dark brown shade uh, in a smudger brush now this brush is from mesmerize makeup range so if you are someone living in chennai you might have known the mesmerize uh, makeup thing um, they do have their own range of pigments and glitters and brushes so they do amazing work and uh, yeah i've got some brushes and pigments and glitters so i just applied um satin finished gold shade on my lid and this one is bomb this one is bedazzled glitter from mesmerize range this is not a glitter not a pigment something in between a glitter and a pigment but it just changes the whole look amazingly then i'm popping some brow bone highlighter and i'm taking this d5 concealer from derma palette i believe and i thought it was way too light I know I may definitely end up freeing up so I again went up with the fawn shade from LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm working on the usual areas. This is what I like. Whatever new concealer I use, this is the one that I go back. So yeah, and I'm just smudging this with the same brush that I used to smudge my foundation. Then I'm setting this with some loose powder with a damp beauty sponge and just let it bake on my face for a while. Then I'm going to take this dark brown cocoa shade from LA Girl Press Powder. Now this brush is also from Mesmerize range. This is a contour brush and this brush is so good and so convenient for contouring your face. I love this brush. And yeah, I will also link their details in the description box below. If you want to check them out, do check them out and they are worthy 
so i'm taking nc45 pressed powder and uh, cleaning up the excess powder and also applying a little bit of the compact powder on my face and my shade is nc45 so next i'm going to contour my face uh, i mean my nose with a small fluffy angled brush and i'm taking this blushes last two blush colors from maybelline blush palette and i'm applying on the apples of my cheeks this gives a subtle mauveish finish which i definitely love it goes well for any complexion people so now this one is another bomb product this is the pack highlighter in the shade 08 now guys i will show you how pigmented this highlighter is i'm just literally dabbing the brush onto the highlighter and you can see like the product sticking onto it and when we apply it it gives a beautiful beautiful glow just a little bit goes a long way so this is definitely a must to try product please do check them out they are so good so i'm going to tight line my upper and lower waterline with the same music plot shell liner and i'm just going to apply some black eyeshadow on the lower um, waterline to set the kajal I mean the gel liner so that it stays smudge proof all day long then I'm going to do a good thick liner it's not a big wing liner but a wing liner so I'm just doing this as you can see here then quickly I just applied some falsies and curled my eyelashes and applied some mascara and then only I applied falsies guys. So next I am going to apply um, a red lip pencil. This one is from Deborah Cosmetics and this one is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Quid Lipstick in the shade Monte Claro I believe. I will just put all the products that I have used in this video in the description box below so please do check them out. So I'm going to set this all with some fixing spray if you are convenient to use a bindi you can add if not then don't want. So I'm just sp spritzing this all over my face and I'm just taking off the excess with the damn beauty sponge. That's it guys this is very simple if you don't like falsies you don't want to apply just apply good voluminous mascara and you are good to go. So yeah, I hope you all like this video. Once again, I'm thanking each and every one of you. Thank you so much. And see you all in my next one guys. Keep supporting. Bye-bye.